Suzette stitch with an increase. Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks, and today is kind of a special request uh, from uh, Natalia Brown. She wanted to know how to increase a Suzette stitch. And I went, you know what, I've never shown anybody really how to do that. So here we go. This is a sneak peek at what we're going to make with it. So keep an eye out for this asymmetrical shawl. Um, this will be coming soon, but I'm not quite done. So I can't show you any more than the first part right here. But it's all Suzette increases. So let's get started. And so I did make one here like this already. Just fiddling around trying to remember the best ways to do this and I have this is totally all Suzette stitches and I've increased the Suzettes and you really can't see where the increases happen there are three ways to do it depending on where you want your increase so I made a nice little swatch this is Karen Simply Soft this color is strawberry and we are going to be increasing on a Suzette so remember, when you're doing a Suzette, you chain an even number because you're going to end up working into an odd number. So chain an even number and then single, single crochet all the way down the chain so you'll have an odd number. So here I, did, I chained 20 and then I single crocheted back down my chain 19 so I have an odd number. So I'll remind you how a Suzette goes. So we're going to, in the very first stitch is a single crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch and remember this is one of my favorite stitches so I use it in a lot of things and then we're going to skip this one skip the next right here skip this go to the next one with a single crochet and a double crochet in that stitch as well and a skip and all the way across that same sequence we have a single and a double crochet in the same stitch and then a skip now we have two stitches left. We're going to skip this stitch, skip this, skip, skip the next stitch, and in the very last stitch, at the very end, is a single crochet only. And that is how we make a Suzette. So for increasing, there's three ways to do that. You want to increase at the very beginning, in the middle, or at the end. The beginning and the middle are basically the same idea and the one at the end is the is a, a little bit different. So I'm going to chain one and turn my work. I'm going to show you all three of them on this line. So in our very first stitch we would do a single and a double but to get another stitch in here we're going to do another single in this same stitch. And then we're going to skip, and then we're going to go to the next stitch and finish that Suzette. So we already used the single crochet, now we're going to use the double crochet. And single and double in that stitch. So I'm going to show you that one more time. We'll do a beginning, a middle, and at the very end. To do an increase at the beginning, we're going to do our normal first stitch, which is a single and a double. But before you move on, in that same stitch, we want to put one more single crochet. So there's half of a Suzette. You did a whole Suzette and then the single crochet for the first part of the other one. So then we're going to skip the next stitch and in that third stitch that you would normally work a Suzette, we want to go and add the other half of that little stitch that our little sneaky adding that one in there's our double crochet and now we do a normal single crochet double crochet a normal Suzette stitch so the first two stitches end up having three stitches instead of just the two again that was this first stitch had a single and a double like normal plus an additional single crochet then we do our skip like usual and finish that extra stitch in the third stitch with a double crochet and then our normal typical Suzette which is a single and a double. Now to increase in the center 
it's very similar to that. It's it's actually the same thing. So what we're going to do is skip, as usual, a single and a double. And we have to add another stitch in the middle here. So half of our suit set will be here with a single crochet. Skip, and the other half of, with the double crochet will be in that next stitch. And then we're going to single and double. So both of those last, both of these stitches had three in it with a skip in the middle. So you're just adding one stitch, but it's actually split just a little bit. We can try that one more time. We're going to increase, it's a single and a double. And we need to get another stitch in there. So here's half of a Suzette, which is the first part is a single crochet, skip, and there's the other part of it, which is the double crochet, right here, and then a complete Suzette stitch in the same stitch. So again, those each had three stitches in them instead of two. And we're going to skip, single, and a double. And now we're down to our last two stitches, as we should be, which is good. We're going to skip this one and we're going to work in that one, but again, see it's starting to get a little bit wider. Remember when we do Suzetting, when we're using our Suzette stitch, the very last stitch is just a single crochet. However, if you want to increase on this end, after that single crochet, we are going to do a double and a single. So what we did was we snuck another Suzette stitch right in front of our last all by itself single crochet. So I'm going to chain one, turn my work, I'm going to go all the way across with a normal Suzette. I'll meet you back down at the other end so you can just see how it finishes off. And this row will have no increases. I just want to finish it off and pull everything together and make it look a little bit more clear. There we go. So I finished off just another row of Suzette. So you can see how drastically it increased. Right here, we added a stitch on the end, we added a stitch on this end, and we added two stitches in the middle. There we go. So let's try it one more time. One more time. Chain one, turn our work, and our very first stitch is a normal Suzette, which is a single and a double. And then we want to add another stitch, but we're going to split that stitch between here and here. So a single crochet here, a skip, and a double crochet. And then a normal Suzette, which is a single and a double in that same stitch as the lonely little double crochet. Voila! Then you continue on with your normal su Suzette sequence. So now let's increase in the middle one more time. So we're going to skip and do a normal, sing normal single and a double Suzette. And we're going to add one more stitch over these next two. So we're going to add a single here, skip, and there's the double. So there's a Suzette stitch. And then in the same stitch, we want to single and double again. Do that one more time. Single and a double. Single in that same stitch. Skip. The double goes in the next stitch. And then we're going to add our normal Suzette. So there we go. See, we're increasing very drastically doing it this way. So we'll skip and we'll go down to the end with our just a typical standard normal Suzette, which is a single and a double and a skip. Single and double in the same stitch and a skip. Now we've got our last two stitches. So we have to skip one and we're going to work into this last stitch, the very last little stitch here. So what we need to do is add our Add an additional Suzette. 
so there is a single and a double and then as we do with every row finishing off is a single crochet there I just made it really 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 wide so I am going to Suzette all the way down one more time just to the normal Suzette all the way down to the other end so we can finish it off and look at it a little bit closer and then you'll be on your way. Alrighty, there is one more row of Suzette with no increases just so we can see how our increases are working. You see this row was an increase and that one was an increase. See it goes up pretty quickly when you're adding that many stitches at one time it gets really wide. I prefer personally to just do one at a time like I did here. This side is an increase, this side has zero, it has no increase, no increase here at all. No increase here. This side was one increase, but it was every other row because when I worked this direction I did an increase but I worked turn my work and work the other direction there was no increase boom 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 so I prefer on this to not increase too many in one line because it gets really wide really fast when I'm designing I try not to increase too drastically because then it gets it could get a little bit puckered this is lying pretty flat, so this is nice. I'm using a five and a half hook, which is what I typically like to use with with the with the four weight. So there you go. That looks nice. And you can see on this guy doing it once every other row. Because we only increased on one side. Makes a drastic difference, even just the one stitch. And remember, this is my work in progress. We're gonna make this. We're gonna. I'm gonna complete it, and I'm gonna show everybody how to do it. Oh, and then I'll have it done in a day or two, because I hate it when I have something looming like that when I've already showed you the stitch. But so there you go. Really easy peasy. You can go as quickly or as slowly with your increases as you want. There you go. Pretty simple. And thanks again, Natalia, for, for asking, because I had never shown anyone that before. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. We've got some really great stuff coming up. Thanks. Bye.